My name is Jonathan Quinlan. Are they fucking pumas? Are you wearing pumas in mom's house? Get out. I've been living in Greenwood for 25 years. He's one of the camera crew. Yeah. Well, he can bloody camera his way out of here. He's wearing bloody pumas in mom's house. Get yourself some dooberies, you savage. You savage! What do I think of Greenwood? Well, like it's bloody home really, isn't it? More than anything else. It's also a bloody kip. I came back to Greenwood because I just got divorced from Nayir Ramumba, who is Samantha Mumba's fourth cousin, twice removed by marriage. It's pretty much Irish royalty, but uh, we had troubles in our marriage and she got all the money, basically. So I can't afford to live anywhere else. I actually never met Samantha. Uh, she was invited to the wedding, but uh, she just replied, who this? Um, like super rude, by the way, because funny enough, I actually saw her ex-husband in the Algarves just there a couple of weeks ago. Um, I was in the Algarves for a divorce spa. Uh, divorcees go there one at a time, and it's also why I'm red as a dog's Mickey. Yeah, I more or less had the skin torn off my face and uh, just got kind of whipped with a bush by a Turkish fella for about six hours at a time. But uh, I really think it's helping me get over the divorce. Uh, here's a picture of Angelina Jolie's chin I actually painted myself. That woman's got a chin on her like nobody else. Getting ready for the old match with the boys, huh? <laughs> well, actually, the, uh, the boys don't hang out with me anymore because I'm not... Um, not with uh, Nayera anymore, so when I'm back in Greenwood. So I'm going to the match um, by myself. Uh, should be grand though. I've been trusted with um, something now that I'm back in the house. So uh, the immersion's actually in here. And um, so I'm kind of in charge of that. You know, it's not like I'm coming home and I'm like mammy's little boy. But I'm kind of basically in charge of the whole house. Really, um, this is the old uh, the old drobe, as we call them. Um, bit of bit of clothes in there. Um, mostly my dad's. It, they're all my dad's actually. I'll have to have a chat with mum about that. Yeah, it could be worse actually. It's pretty good to be back in uh, in uh, mum's place in Greenwood. Um, the garden's nice. These uh, poppies here. Uh, they're the only poppies in Greenwood that aren't actually harvested to make opium. Uh, that's a fact. Well hasn't changed a bit. Uh, used to actually be a real well, the only well in Greenwood until my uh, twin sister fell down and um, just kind of left her there, really. Um, she wasn't worth going down after. Love you, sis. Mom loved uh, gnomes, actually. We used to have a gnome here uh, working for us. Well. Yeah, you know, working for us. He'd do the washing and the dishes and stuff. And uh, then he died, of, he had a, like an aneurysm or something out the back once. So um, he's buried, he's buried over there. Bloody neighbor's got a bloody trampoline. He's been bouncing till all hours. Yeah. If I was in charge of Greenwood, bouncing would stop half six, maybe seven during the summer. They'd be bouncing till bloody eight. My future, well, I'm a self-made man really. But I could really do it a business partner of sorts as well, you know. Maybe I'll find somebody around here, make a few bob, get back out of Greenwood. That's the next kind of job I've got to do. Look for me and then look for a shit ton of money. Yeah, I actually bumped into Desi Harris yesterday. Um, me and him used to be good pals before I uh, escaped <laughs> from Greenwood. And um, I don't know, it was actually kind of nice to see him again, yeah. So uh, the only friend I've already got, to be honest, the only one that actually recognised me, so. Didn't really do well here as a teenager. Different, you know, better really.